Welcome back everyone. This is Mr. Terminal for Cloud Infrastructure Services. In this video, we are going to see how to deploy Squid Proxy Server on Microsoft Azure. And we are going to use the Squid Proxy Server available on the market. Even after you create this from the market, there's a lot of configurations that you have to do. And that is what we are going to through. Before that, let me just give you a brief introduction on Squid Proxy Server. So here's your a high level ARF architecture diagram for it, provided by Cloud Infrastructure Services. So anyone on the internet goes through firewall and they access the Squid Proxy Server. They're not directly accessing your content in the virtual machines. So they go for the proxy. And this proxy further accesses all of the virtual machines that you configure with it on port 3128. This can be configured, but 3128 is the default one. So what it essentially does is keeps a cache copy here. So the process of retrieving data from the virtual machine becomes much, much faster. This is only the one use case of this for a lot of features you it has and you can read them here i would read them for important ones for you set acl access control list for which networks have access to internet cache frequently access websites cache files slash media this is very crucial again load balance with other squid proxies torrent filtering php redirectors that has a lot of features so for whatever reason you are going to deploy you only need to deploy it once and you can use it for all purpose and on only one place as mentioned in the architecture diagram that resource deployed is the only resource deployed as part of the solution for your azure environment so we are going to go ahead and create it again defaults are okay and um, my virtual machine name would be squid proxy image is selected already size is okay yep as your user let's stick with the default again yeah disk for demo purposes is more than enough networking you don't have to touch neither management so we can go ahead and review and create it you can review all the details and click create yep download the private key and create the resource save the file remember where you saved it the deployment is in progress created let the deployment complete this is the one we want to be operational Once the deployment is complete, go to the resource. Have its public IP. Connect with SSH. This is the one I'm going to use. So cd into the directory where your file is. This is where my file is and I'm just going to paste that command. Of course the private key path is my current directory. 
quick proxy. Yep, SSH inside it. Yes. Okay, you got permission denied. CH more 400 this file. Try again. Great, now you're inside the virtual machine. Now we need to configure our access control list, ACLs. And this is basically a list allowing the networks that you choose to access this proxy. Other all are by default not allowed. So for that, you have to edit a file in etc squid. You can use whatever editor you prefer. I'm using Vim. And inside Vim, let's search for ACL local net source src 10 search only this much and you will get, come to this path right sorry acl search so here you want to by default 10.0.0.058 is allowed if you don't want to allow it simply comment this out and if you want to add your vm instances or your network whatever it is simply add acl local net i'm using local net but this is basically a name of your network so you can go for my network name whatever it is I'm going for local net. You can name it as you wish. Uh, not nest. Local source, and here goes your IP, whatever it is. Your network IP, and you are basically adding that to the network. That's how you configure it. I am going with the default. Next, what you want to do is allow this network and HTTP access. So search for it, HTTP access, allow. So here you would see the default one. Instead of the default one, what you're going to do is write technically the same line, HTTP access allow and your network name whatever you chose no need for the ip address here just your network name whatever it was okay in my case it was just local net so i am not writing this and that's it your network will have an access to this proxy save the file you should sudo it so next time sudo it Once you have saved the file, you can restart it. Restart the squid service. It'll take a little while. And it's done now. Everybody can access this. Everybody on that network can access internet through through this proxy. After the setup is complete, and if you have Windows, this is kind of interface you can see. If you enter the IP address and port is since we didn't change any settings, the default one is three one two eight. That's the one you have to enter, and you should be able to access the internet through this proxy. One more very crucial setting is in the same file, 
that we edited before etc squared squared dot configuration file search for cache manager And default is cancelled out but uncommented and here enter the email address of the person or the admin who wants to manage this script server what it essentially does is if there is any issue at any place inside script server inside the script proxy it will send an email to this person and you can configure furthermore if you wish while we are in this file there are let's look into more settings that you can configure that will come really really handy one of them is search for http port so you know the default port that we configured is we did not configure sorry wrong wording the default port that is configured is 3128 so if you want to listen to if you want the server to listen on another port simply add a line and it will listen to any other port that you want could be 3000 you can edit that as well but recommended is keep the default sometimes defaults are really handy and add as many as ports you want typically and not that many but you can add them and they will listen on these ports as well the server will listen on this port as well next you want to change the default host name so again search for visible host name and yeah you should come about here just copy this as it is and you can enter your visible host name let me go with script proxy one or should i say write it like this script proxy one is my new host name so this is also something that you might want to change from the default ones next up is if you want to block certain websites from this proxy so people who are accessing this proxy cannot use this website and again we will use ACL create an access control list name it anything we want let's call it block website and it is JST domain now you can enter your websites for example if it is facebook.com facebook.com or youtube.com so this syntax is important add a dot before the website name so now you have created a list we have to tell our proxy do not allow it so xdx http access deny this list block websites and you should be good to go and these websites are can no longer be accessed by anyone using this proxy similarly if you wanted to block just a port process is same create an access control list name it what you are you want block ports and now it's a port and let's say port 80 is the one you want to block we don't want anyone to come on that port once you've created an access control list again the same process deny the access to this list block ports and that's it anyone coming on the server cannot access port 80. next thing we should look at is if you want your user user's browser traffic to go through the default port of the proxy 
in a way rerouting or forcing the http traffic from port 80 to port 3182 then you have to make this change uh, search for http port 3182 the default 3128 the default one yeah here just add a word transparent this will read out it and all the http traffic is going to be forced to go through the port 3128 in other words go through the proxy one last thing i would like to add is the anonymous browsing what is that so by default squid proxy does send your users or your clients ip address to the respective website they are accessing but if you want, don't want to do that in other words if you want to browse anonymously there is a some um, tweaking you can do in the configuration file that can help you achieve that so the only ip it will be sending is the one that you have configured and not the IP of the user or your client. Simply search forwarded for on. It's by default on. So I will go to this line, uncomment it, and turn it off. Below that, I am going to share a bunch of lines. They have been meticulously configured and we will be sharing that in the description so just add these lines and voila your anonymous browsing is configured so i have added these lines and again these are shared in the description in fact all everything that i did has been shared step by step in the description so please do look into that and once all of this is done you have to save it once it's saved and i did not restart the squared server every time i created a new setting but if you have changed a setting you have to restart it otherwise it will not be implemented so i have configure all setting at once so i'm doing all at once but if you configure individual setting you have to restart it just after that the service squid restart sudo it yeah after this uh it's configured with all the settings and it will run as you want it to run on the ports you want to run and it will work as you expect it to this is the most important configurations that we share with you and if you like it please do like the video and subscribe to the channel and that's it thanks for watching